We're joined by Ferris State head coach Tony Anise, linebacker Sefa Saipaia, and wide receiver Tyrese Hunt-Thompson after the Bulldogs defeat Ashland 43-3 to tonight. Coach, we'll go ahead and start with you. Can we just get your thoughts uh, overall from the game? Uh, just a complete uh, victory. Um, very... Uh very proud of our guys. We talked about in the locker room before the game, just our standard. Let's just play up to our abilities. And uh, with the exception of a couple uh, penalties and um, uh, a, a turnover, I thought we just played really good um, on offense. And defensively, um, you know, their field goal was, was fueled by some penalties. So that's got to be fixed up. But other than that, um, I just thought it was a super win against a really strong opponent. Sefa, the defense has been outstanding through the first three games of the season. What is it specifically that you guys are doing that is allowing you to have so much success on that side of the ball? Um, I think we're just holding ourselves to like a high standard no matter who we play. You know, it's always going to be about us and how we play. Um, definitely the team chemistry between us, uh, the defensive side, I think it's, that's very big for us, just always being together, holding each other accountable, whether it's good or bad. And um, I think at the end of the day, like when we, or we are well, you one unit, that's when, that's why we play so well. Tyrese, another really good game tonight for the offense. This is two games uh, at home where the offense has really clicked and looked very good. What specifically have you guys done on that side of the ball over the past two games that's worked very well? Uh, I think we just attack every day, you know, the same, trying to get better at practice. It starts at practice. Um, and that's how you get better, honestly, is just uh, effort and doing it every day and getting better every day. And um, I think Trinidad really came out today and, and led us to a real complete game. So proud of him. For both the players, uh, Sefa, you can go first. Talk about the energy that the team had uh, in tonight's game against a very good Ashland team to allow you to, to go out and get a big win like this. You know, I think it doesn't, regardless, whatever team it is, it doesn't matter what, who we play, we're always going to have that energy, and that's kind of like something that we try um, to strive for, you know. Like, like again, like I said, it's always about us. It's about first. You know, we're not worried about who we play, and how, we're just worried about how we come out and how we carry ourselves. That we haven't been playing to our best like ability against these guys. So today, um, I might have put an extra chip on our shoulder for us. As for coach, um, coach said that they've had our number, like not winning, but giving us a few problems these past years. So we just want to come out and play a complete game against them for once. And glad we did that. Uh, Nolan Matthews with the torch. Um, so you played two QBs outside of goal, or I'm sorry, outside of Chambliss. Uh, what's is that the plan to see if you're going to have a two QB system like you did with Golker? Well, yeah, missing Carson's a big deal for us. Um, you know, it, uh, he's, a, he was, he's a great player and, and just done great things for us. Um, and so we're still trying to sort out who might be the guy uh, to be the backup for Trinidad. Um, the Sean Mumfield played a lot tonight. Last week I used Chase Carter in the third quarter of most of that game and uh, you know Jack uh, Jack's kind of a strong physical guy so he did a really nice job and we got Charlie in there and we still got uh, Demir who's really good too and uh, we're just kind of I told him I'm not going to play him in like games where we're way ahead if we need to burn his red shirt we will but right now we're just trying to keep uh, his his red shirt so that um, you know he gets a chance to develop because he's a super player as well so just trying to sort it out long answer for who in the heck's your backup but uh, um, right now we we feel good about the way Trinidad's playing and you know we got to buy a week so we can develop some stuff here um, but when you got two really good quarterbacks, which we had with Trinidad and Carson, you know, I, I was negligent getting the others enough reps, you know. So now it'll give, give them a chance to, to grow. And uh, so hopefully that works. And then you, um, you had seven penalties before halftime. Uh, just what's the plan on cleaning that up going into the next Well, game? one is, you know, the, the irresponsibility of just losing uh, – you know your your emotional control so i'm going to watch the film some of those guys are going to be getting up really early to uh get dawn patrol um and you know over time you just gotta you gotta know who you're hurting and if you don't care enough about your team 
um, to control yourself emotionally, um, you're going to have a problem with me. And so um, hopefully it's always about a lesson, right? And hopefully the lesson learned tonight will make us stronger um, and less, uh, less apt to do those kind of things. Just one more question for the players before we wrap up. Sefa, you can go first again. Uh, just talk about what the preparation is for your bye week uh, from the player's standpoint as you practice and then lead up for your two, week, two weeks from now game against American International. You know, you always want to, with a bye week, just take that opportunity. Just kind of like with your body, relax, like kind of, you know, you played a few games, kind of banged up a little bit. Um, and so after the bye week, you know, it starts the long journey of like game after game, week after week. So really this week is about like uh, making sure that you're taking care of our bodies, you know, getting right, do stretching, uh, eating right, drinking water, all that kind of stuff. Just trying to, you know, self-care kind of thing. Um, I honestly think um, a bye week is just another day, another week to get better. I mean, of course, take care of our bodies and everything like that, but we still got to attack each day. Um, even though we don't have an opponent, but just attack each day, try to get better within our offense, our defense, special teams, and go from there for our bye week. We did. Uh, we were the team after COVID in which we didn't play a game that won the national championship. So we're pretty uh, savvy. Our guys are savvy at, at using our time to grow. Um, and then before you call this thing quits, how about the way the game started? Kick six. Huh? Tariq Bratt. Beautiful. All right. Coach Rocks, the the kick return coach, and he uh, called the play, and Reek, Reek took it to the house. That was awesome. So proud of him. He's been around here a while trying to make plays, and he's really uh, growing his game for sure. Coach Sefa, Tyrese, congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks for the time, and uh, good luck with the rest of the season.